Ah, greetings one and all. Um, yeah, welcome back to the home kitchen after that um, uh, road trip for the last um, video. So today I'm going to be making carrot halwa, um, which is a, basically another one of these Indian type sweets that's used for um, celebrations and festivals and very, very popular um, yeah, at any one point in time. This is probably getting prepared and eaten in millions of households around the world, particularly in the subcontinent, of course, India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka. So, um, yeah, I'll just get to making it. So it's carrot-based, um, but yeah, it's a nice sweet dish. So um, just to start off here, I've got some, uh, about two or three tablespoons of ghee heading up in my um, non-stick wok here, my Matty Boom Boom wok. And to that, I'm just going to add a few spices. So I've got um, yeah, some, about a teaspoon of cardamom, about half of um, ground cloves and about half a nutmeg. So I'll just put that in. And we're just going to let that dissolve into the ghee until you start, they just start to slightly cook off and we get a little bit of a flavour here. So nothing here is going to be done on a really, really high temp. And to that, I'm going to add some slivered up and chopped up almonds and pistachios. I'm going to go in. Before I started this, I actually did toast uh, dry toast some of these almonds and pistachios um, but that's just going to be for a garnish at the end and um, these ones are going to be quite well cooked in the, in the dish alright, I'll just let that go for a sec and I'll get back to you alrighty guys, now there's a really nice aroma coming off that um, yeah, real muddy and spicy smell um, so what I've got here to add into it is I've got one whole kilo of carrots which I've finely grated up. Um, I use the food process, you can grate it by hand but yeah this turned out fine in the um, food processor. Um, I didn't, you don't want to use those really big more woody sort of carrots, Just, I sort of use smaller ones, not exactly baby carrots but yeah just bag of the small ones. So we'll throw all those into our ghee the nuts and spices and obviously the carrots are going to be the basis of our um, our halwa here today. Okay now I'm going to, uh, yeah the carrots cook down a little bit, um, yeah some of the moisture's come out of it there, it's looking, um, it's looking good, it's sort of, um, yeah just sort of toasted up a bit as well. Now the next stage is we're going to add about 500 mils, about half a litre of uh, full cream milk. So yeah, quite a bit of milk. And yeah, we'll just uh, stir that through. Now obviously now that we're putting milk into it, we do have to be a bit attentive of this. Um, yeah, don't, don't go away and leave it for too long. Uh, just a gentle simmer, but we still got to make sure we keep stirring it now and then, or fairly frequently actually, not, the, not now and then, just to make sure it doesn't stick. Um, I'll just shout out to some of my um, Indian friends, Nem Namaste, or um, Satriya Kal, to my Punjabi friends, to my Sikh friends out there. Hope you're all doing well. Hope um, all's well in the, in the world for you guys. And to, to everyone actually, <laughs> not just my Indian friends. Hope everyone's doing well. All right, so I'm just going to slowly simmer this until basically all the um, liquid has evaporated out of the uh, milk there. So that's obviously going to take a while on the low heat. So um, I'll leave you for now. Um, back again. So um, yeah, sometime later, maybe 20, 25 minutes, and as you can see the. There's still a bit of liquid in it, but it's starting to um, starting to dry up. So at this point, I'm just going to add um, a couple more of my ingredients, and then um, continue cooking, cooking it down a bit further. 
yeah, so it's at this point we're going to uh, abandon any sort of um, pretense that just because this is a carrot based dish um, it's going to be in any way healthy because our next ingredient is going to be a good slug, probably a good couple of hundred mils of condensed milk, sweetened condensed milk and also I'm going to add should open it first, of course. And whoop. just a good slug of thickened cream. About uh, six or so tablespoons. And we're going to stir that into our um, carrot mixture. Carrot, nut and ghee mixture. And continue cooking it down again until that again until there's um, just about no liquid left so that's going to take another who knows however long it takes <laughs> uh, so I'll stop filming again for now until it's cooked down again uh, so guys um, yeah this hasn't completely cooked down yet still got a little way to go but I just thought um, it's about halfway halfway there but yeah still got a bit to go at this stage I thought I might add some I'm going to add some uh, sultana as well and I've also got a little bit of um, some saffron strands that I've just been soaking in a bit of water I'm going to put them in as well this is a rich rich sweet dish there's no getting around that because um, of we still haven't even added our sugar yet, so <laughs> uh, we'll do that when this is cooked down a bit more. All right, um, still still cooking down a bit more to go. I uh, just thought might as well add our last but not least ingredient. I've got one cup of caster sugar, and <laughs> like I said, this is a really really it's going to be a pretty sweet dish. Now, believe it or not. Um, some people would actually add more sugar than this at this point. One one cup is actually on the lower end of the um, of the scale. As I said before, this is a celebratory dish. It's a dish used for. I mean, people cook it in their own homes, but they also use it for special occasions, as I've said, like um, you know, weddings and festivals and special holidays and um, things like that. So it is a a, a rich dish for that but um, I just like it anyway it's, it's really yummy I haven't got much of a sweet tooth but for some reason some of these Indian ones like this and barfi I just totally love so yeah that's actually the last ingredient I'll um, I've just got to wait till uh, it evaporates a bit more and I'll show you that before I serve it up Alright guys, um, yeah my um, carrot halwa here is pretty well done, so it's just, you can see it's all just coming away now, and the other good sign that it's done is that ghee is starting to just come out of it there, so what I'll do is I'll turn the heat off and just let it cool a bit before I serve it, now you can serve this uh, hot um, but it's also very nice served cold so just today for this first um, tasting I'm gonna have it hot well it is hot <laughs> but um, as I say it's just as nice um, chilled and served cold alrighty I'll get back here when I've got a plate of this ready to go alrighty guys um, yeah I've just served up a bit of my halwa here I'm just serving it with some um, vanilla bean ice cream uh, I didn't make it <laughs> I brought it which yeah, it's just starting to melt a bit because it's been sitting against the hot hour while, while I was taking a quick photo so um, apologies for that but um, now it's time to taste this so yeah I'll just try a bit of the halwa and yeah I'll put some of those toasted nuts on top that I said I did at the start so yeah that's um, that's a spoonful of it there 
not sure if that's focusing. Alright, that is yummy. I love that. Now, I think it's going to be sickly sweet, and then, don't get me wrong, it's sweet, but it's not as um, bad as you think. It's just yummy. Yeah, with a bit of ice cream, like this. Man, that's nice. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, thanks for watching that. That's um, yum. Oh, yum, yum. Maybe I have to, am developing a sweet tooth. That is just delicious. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Um, those that have subscribed already, thanks so much for doing so. Um, anyone watching that hasn't subscribed, please do. Uh, just gives me encouragement to keep doing it. Um, I'll probably keep doing it anyway. <laughs> and I'll see you all next time.